In this video, we are going to see how to get email notifications or send follow-ups to Type Form respondents. So let's say that you are using Type Form as a form builder application, and here you want that every time a new response has been received, you want to send an email. So you want to notify the user about the response received as well as the admin about the new lead received. Now, how can you do this? For this, you will have to integrate the two applications, and the same thing can be done using Public Connect software. Here, your trigger application would be Type Form, and your action application would be Gmail. Now, how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pavli.com slash connect. And as we do that, here we have the, the landing page of this software. On the right hand side, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, simply sign in. If you are a new user, click on this tab, sign up. It won't take more than two minutes. And also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. So now I'm going to click on sign in as I'm an existing user over here. And here we have reached the all applications page. Now we are going to click on access now for Pabli Connect as we are doing this integration using Pabli Connect software. Here we have reached the dashboard of this application. On the right hand side, you can see a tab create workflow. Let's click on this and a dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name this workflow. Here my objective is to send email notifications or send follow-ups to Typeform respondents. So every time a form is filled in Typeform, then I want to send a mail to my user and also to my admin informing about the lead. Now I'm going to click on create. And here we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One is trigger. Another one is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens. And action is do this. Basically action here is the response of our trigger application. Now here my objective is that every time a type form response is received, then only this workflow should run. So my first application would be type form. And then the action event here would be the, sorry, and then the trigger event here would be new entry. Let's click on connect. So here Pavli Connect is asking to connect itself with a type form account. To set up this connection, I'm going to click on add new connection and then connect with type form. I've already logged into my type form account. So let's quickly accept. And as I do that here, you can see that the authorization has been successful. Now, let me show you the form that I have created. So this is my type form account and here I have created a few forms. So this is the form that I've just created. The name is new form and here we have the following details. First name, last name, phone number then email address. So taking you back to Pabli Connect, you can see that the name of the form has already been captured by the system. I'm going to click on save and send test request. So as soon as I do that, it is asking me to do a test submission in the application so that it can capture the response here. So going back to type form. So, so this is the form that I've created. Let's click on publish. As soon as I do that here, there is a link. I'm going to copy this, open this in a new tab over here. And as I do that here, you can see that we have the form right in front of us. Let's fill in the form. So let's say the first name here is dummy. Then we have the last name, which is zero and now we have the phone number so let's say this is the phone number and then the email address is dummy zero at pablitudes.com now i'm going to click on submit so here our form has been submitted going back to pabli connect let's see if we have received the api response here it is so we have the form response form id then we have the name of our form as i take you down we have the phone number first name last name and email address so we have received this information now my objective is to send an email to my user so here i'm going to look for gmail let's click on this and the action event would be to send an email let's click on connect Again, Public Connect wants to set up the connection between Public Connect and Gmail. So I'm going to select add new connection, connect with Gmail. Here I have to select the account. And then once selected, I'm going to go down, click on continue. So once it is done, this means that Public Connect is now connected with Gmail. 
and here we have to fill in this information basically we have to map the information mapping means that as i click on this it will show me the previous step and i have some data here that already exists i'm just going to retrieve it here why is mapping important because every time my workflow runs it would be able to capture the new data otherwise if i write this manually it will only take the manually written data so now here we have to write the recipient's email address and I'm sending this to the user. So let's look for the email address. Here it is. And as I take you down, this is the sender's name. So let's say the name of the sender is Pabli Connect. Now, since this is the name of the company, it is going to be static. It won't change. That is why I've written this manually. Now, what is the email subject? So let's say that since the user has just filled in the form, I'm going to write response received is the email subject now reply to and then email content type so it is plain now the email content so i'm going to write dear now i'm going to map the name of the person to give it a personalized touch dummy right here it is so dear dummy so now let's say the message is thank you for your time your response has been received you will be soon contacted by a representative at and here i'm going to write the email address so i'm going to go to step one and again here i'm going to look for this email address who would resolve your queries regarding our product thanks or regards team pabli so this is the message now if you wish to attach any file so you can write the name of the file and the attachment i'm going to click on save and send test request so here we can see that our mail has been sent so now let me take you to the email address where we have received a mail and yes here it is so the mail has been received through pabli connect and this is our message this basically means that our integration till here has been successful now taking you back to pabli connect what do i want i want to send an email to the admin as well so i'm going to select the application once again gmail and now the action event here would be to send email let's click on connect i'm going to go ahead with the existing connection and now here i'm going to write the recipient's email address now this is my admin so i'm going to write so this is the recipient's email address now the sender's name sender's name is again pabli connect and then we have the email subject which is new lead received and then here we have to write the email content. So our email content is dear team. We have received a new lead. Details are then we have the name here. So we are going to look for name. And here I'm going to step one to look for the name. We know that the name is dummy. And here it is. Then we have the contact number. So here for the contact number, let's again map the information. Go to step one. Here is the contact number. And then we have the email address. So here again, I'm going to map the information. So this here is the email address. And here we are done with our content. And now if you have a file, then you can attach it here and name it here. I'm going to click on save and send test request. And here we have received the email. And here you can see that yes, I have received an email. Dear team, we have received a new lead. These are the details. This basically means that this integration process is a complete success. But now we also need to check this in real time. So I'm going to go back to the form. I'm going to refresh the page and here I'm going to fill in another form. So let's say this time the first name is testing123. Then the last name here is name. Then we have the phone number. So this is the phone number and then we have the email address. So it is testing123 at pablitudes.com. And now I'm going to submit. As soon as I submit this, a mail should be sent to the admin and one mail should be sent to the user. So let's check the user's account first. And yes, here you can see dear testing123. And this is the message. Now I'm going to go to the admin's email address. Let's go to inbox. And here you can see that we have received a new lead. Basically, this means that our entire integration process is a success. Taking you back to Public Connect, let's quickly understand what we have done. So this is an extremely easy three-step integration process where our trigger application is type form, the event is new entry, our action application is Gmail, the event is sent email where we have sent this email to the user and then our action application again is Gmail where we have sent this email to the admin. 
I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the description box. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any other integration, specific integration that you wish to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.